So we've got a quiz here. It's not, uh, you know, a quiz yet. We can't answer questions, but we can step through our questions. Um, we can show whatever questions are in here. It'll let us kind of next through them, and then it'll loop back and show the first one when we get to the last. And I had added this question down here just to, to show a concept. So I'm going to get rid of that guy. Um, we can get rid of this little three hanging around because now we check for the length of this list instead of three specifically. Okay, next thing I want to do is is add images. Okay, so instead of just having a kind of a boring text question, let's also add a picture, which uh, will also make our quiz easier. But you know, you'll let people answer either from the question or the or the picture. So first thing I'm going to do, and you can get these pictures from the web or or wherever Creative Commons. Um, if you're worried about copyright, but the pictures I've got um, for the President's Quiz, if you know all the all the you know th this app is is one from the App Inventor book, and that's an O'Reilly book. So if you go to examples.oreilly.com and this number, or if you go to oreilly.com and search for App Inventor book, it'll take you here. And what I'm going to do is go to the um, Chapter 8, President's Quiz, and you'll notice there's a bunch of um, GIF files here. And these are the, the pictures for that I need for my quiz. And I'm only going to do the three questions, and so I'm going to actually save these pictures. And I'm just going to save them in, on my desktop for now, because all I'm going to do is load them back into App Inventor. Okay, so I just got that. I'm going to save Nixon. Okay, and you're kind of seeing what some of the answers are going to be for the for the quiz, but I'm going to save all these these image files. But you know, any image files can work. Um, you know, some formats. You know, you you definitely want to test them, but um, generally, pretty much any image will work. There is some limitations on how much size. It, it, you know, I think the limitation now is is like five megabytes, maybe ten megabytes for for the entire app with your images but these guys are pretty small actually so I'm gonna go back to App Inventor and what I'm gonna do you know there's there's a you know you can you can add images directly in a component or you can just go to the media so I'm gonna go to media add browse go to my desktop and just load these these images in okay and you're not gonna see them You'll not see the images, but they'll show up in this little media folder. So I just added Ruse Church, and I'm going to add Nixon. Okay. And I'm going to add one more, which is uh, the uh, Carter. Okay. So my app now has these assets, right? These these media files are now when I when you download the app, it'll it'll be with the app. And now what we got to do is, is actually show them, okay? And I'm going to add an image component to my user interface, okay? Because we just want to show the image for every question. So right now this image is going to show up, and then the question, and then the next button, okay? And right now there's no specific image showing because the picture property is is blank, and we'll leave it blank here in the designer. <coughs> now. Over here in the blocks editor, just like we kind of loaded our question on the next button and also on the screen to initialize the first question, we need to do the same thing with images. And in fact, we need to build another list. We need a variable, you know, so one one variable will have all our questions in text, but we need kind of the same thing for our images. So I'm going to call this the image list. Now I'm going to set up my image list so the picture for the first question shows up first, second question second. So they'll be kind of um, corresponding to each other, right? Um, so, and it's it's a little weird. For images, uh, what you want to use is the, the exact name of the image as it's loaded, loaded in. So if we go over here, we know we've got this thing called lowercase r-o-o-s church.gif. And it's got to be exact, or you're going to have problems. So I'm going to call this ruschurch.gif. And notice, just it's just a text block. So this is just text, 
but later when I write some code or add some blocks to, to show a picture, I'll refer to this text exactly. Okay. So Ruse Church is one of these, and sorry, I forgot to add my make a list because because this is a list, not a single variable. Okay, so I'll go over to lists and grab this make a list. And I want Ruse Church to be the first one because in fact Roosevelt's the answer to this this first question. The second image is going to be Nixon.gif or CartaChina.gif. And in fact, it's Carter China is the one I want for the second question. Okay, and I think it is that. And then I think the third is Nixon.gif. Okay, and I always kind of double check these guys. Lowercase Carter, capital China, lowercase Nixon. Let's see if that's all true. Yeah, I think I got them right. Okay, and we'll, we'll find out here in a sec. So I, now I have my question list, my image list. These guys are, of course, in a variable, so you can't really... They're not going to show up here automatically. All right. And what we need to do, though, is we've got this image component, image one, and we need to stick a picture in there. Okay, so we've kind of got the wrapper for the picture, but we don't, we're not actually putting a specific picture in. So let's start off with just the screen.initialize. And what I want to do is set the picture property of that image component. So think of the image component as a frame, and now we're going to actually put a real picture. I could put rugechurch.gif directly in there, but just like I did with the text questions, I want to make it so if I change these, my code will still work. So I'm just going to kind of copy this guy. Okay, now I don't want to select the first item from question list. I want to select it from image list. So I'm going to get rid of that guy, pull out a reference to my new variable called image list. Okay, and now when my app starts, I should show both the first question and the first picture. So I'm going to go ahead and run my emulator restart the app and I think what's going to happen is it's going to go get the first thing rusechurch.gif stick it in as a picture property of the image component so it'll make it show up and then also do the same and grab this first question here um, about Mr. Roosevelt okay once that once we make sure that's working we'll kind of almost do the same thing down here for the for the next button okay what we're going to do for that Okay, cool. There's there's our picture. First question shows up. First picture shows up. Okay, so for the next button, right now if I click next, it would just change the text. I also need to change the picture. But we'll use the same index for both the question text and the image. Okay, because we can do that because we kind of made the first item in question list correspond to the first picture, second, second, and so on. Okay, and I'm just going to copy this, you know, I'm doing Command-C, Command-V on my Mac. And what I want to do is I want to set the picture property. I don't always want to grab the first item from image list, but I want to grab the indexed item. So I'm going to get rid of the one. I'll go ahead and copy this reference to index. Okay, and now I think, you know, you know I'm handling my index to, to get us to the right position in both of these lists. And then I just need to grab the right one. So let's go ahead and see if this works. So I'm showing my first question, first picture. Click Next. There's uh, Mr. Carter. Um, and, and it shows the second question and second picture. And then should show the third question and third picture. There's wonderful Richard Nixon. All right. Click Next again. It should flip back and show the first picture, first question. And there it is.